danger was to the reading of the word of God. Y'all haven't dealt with people like this. I've dealt with some folk that said, you know, I've read the Bible a hundred times. But really, did it get down inside of your spirit, man? Yeah. If you are part of the kingdom and you want to learn kingdom precepts, God will speak to you some things. I don't care how many times you have read the Bible. God will speak some things in your mind. You say, God, I read that before. But God, your revelation of your word is showing me, God, something that I have never seen before. Being a part of the kingdom. This unshakable kingdom. That's why it's important that you are not the only one that God speaks to. God has raised up some leaders in these last days. Some folk that people not, never would have thought that they are where they are in Christ. But God, they, they, are, they are laying before the king. And the king is speaking some mandates and some precepts to them. Some things that we have never seen in the word of God ourselves. As leaders. As leaders. We need to revisit our agenda. Does everything we do line up with the kingdom agenda? This unshakable agenda. Does God always speak to you 365 days in advance? Do you know some churches on January 1, they've already got their schedule planned for the whole year. What if God in the midst of you praying, God speaks and says, I want to have a revival, a three-day revival, something that you had not planned and you not, had not put on paper. As leaders, as leaders, we got to stand up bold and declare what thus saith the Lord. Yeah. But see, some folk are in places that God has not appointed them to be. Yeah. Wow. If you're in a place that if God has not appointed you to, to be there, you can realize that there's not going to be nothing but chaos and hell in the midst of that. Those Amen. See, if you don't have the kingdom mandate and you are not teaching the precepts of the king, it's hard for people to understand what God wants to do. Amen. We have to revisit our agenda. We have been programmed that we can really be figured out. Some of our leaders. Our plans and our purpose is not God's plan and purpose. How do I know? Glad that you asked. The kingdom has to take priority over everything else in the body of Christ. Matthew 6, 33 says what? Seek ye what? First the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all other things shall be what? Shall be added unto you. Second dirt, second dirt. My grass needs cutting today. Well, it's all right. It's going to get done. But first, I had to come to see what the king had to say to me. Not only to me, but that I might see the glory of God manifested in the last days, the kingdom here on earth. God said a lot of our places of worship and embassies have been established, but I have not been invited in. I said, God, why would you use me to teach some harsh words as that today? He said, God, God said, why not you? <laughs> Prophetess Tracy said this in one of our earliest summit ministers, that God has to crash some of our hard drives and change our way of thinking. Right. Let, me, let me say that again. God has to crash some of our hard drives right. and change some of our minds. Yeah, right. Co-pastor, she said it like this, that we got to get rid of our stinking thinking. Come on. Some of the ways that we are programmed, the way we used to do things are not in the kingdom mandate, are not the precepts of God, and God wants us to change the way we do some things. Amen. Jeremiah, Jeremiah, the 29th chapter. Let's turn there real quick. A very familiar passage of scripture. If someone would read that for us, please. I, I, I trust you read. Jeremiah, the 29th chapter, verse number 11. My God, to give you an expected end. Amen. God knows our thoughts even before we speak. Amen. Even before God has put it in our spirit, even before the foundation of the earth was ever created, God had already spoken and knew the exact day, time, and second that he was speaking into your mind. God, God, God. Hebrews 13 and 8 says that Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. 
Amen. It's time for us to advance the kingdom of Almighty God here on earth. Folk are, 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 are already, if you watch the news, are coming up. Well, why not time for the kingdom of God will start advancing in a way like it's never advanced yeah. before? Yeah. Well, well, how do you know, folk, coming out? I'm glad that you asked. If you watch the news this week, I'm a wizard fan. I don't talk much about it because they haven't been in the news very much doing anything positive. Jason Collins, the Wizards basketball player, seven foot men, 255 pounds, announced that he's gay. Yes. Yes. Now, if folk that are gay are coming out, why not people of God that That's love right. the Lord, that are That's teaching right. the Mama. principles and mandates of the kingdom are not coming out? That's right. That's right. Shamika Holesclaw, great NBA player, WNBA player, is facing 65 years for assaulting and firing a gun inside her ex-girlfriend's car. Jesus. First Corinthians, the sixth chapter, uh -huh. verse nine. So don't, you don't think that it's my teaching? We're gonna turn that. First Corinthians. Remember Hebrews thirteen and eight said that Jesus is what the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Well, well, what do you say, God, about the unrighteous? I'm glad that you asked. First Corinthians. 6th chapter, verse 9, says, For ye know not that the unrighteous shall not, what? Inherit, Inherit the kingdom of who? God. Of God. Mm. Be not deceived. Mm -hmm. Neither what? 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 Show what? And hurt the kingdom of Almighty God. If people like this are coming out and claiming who they are in Christ, it's time for the church to start speaking what the king has to say to the people of God. As a matter of fact, that's the only way that we're going to make it in these latter days is we're going to have to speak the same thing what the king says. The president, the president is speaking some things that the king did not mandate, the king did not say. He's telling them what the people want to hear. But what does the king say about it? The king's word does not change. No. The same what yesterday, yes. today, yes. and forevermore. As a matter of fact, the kingdom has always been around, but people just have not been what? Teaching about the kingdom. But I thank God for the kingdom son. Two men of God that saw the vision of God, that were willing to go against the grain and teach not what people were used to hear, but what the king wanted to hear. Now we see the kingdom of God advancing in such a great way. You think that God has done something? God hasn't done anything yet. God is just starting with this kingdom summit. Going to Louisiana. Yes. God is doing some great things for the people of God. Williamsburg and other places that God has not even showed us in the spirit yet. God is going to sing the kingdom of God too, that the kingdom of God might advance here on this side of earth. Amen. Psalm, Psalm, Psalm 143. Uh, we're still talking about this unshakable, unshakable king. Oh, my God. See, uh, when you're in a, the political arena, you have to be careful. You voted in, and you can be voted out. Ha, ha, ha. I think that's only true in the political arena. Oh. My God, some churches, they'll tell a pastor, if you Why teach that you? stuff about the kingdom, uh, we voted you in, yes, the same people, we vote you out. I'd rather go the door. I don't care yeah. whether they assist me out the door or not, but I'm going to still teach you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, my God, some folk are all caught up on Baptists, caught up yes, on Methodists, and all these on. other Thank religions. Yes, Stop yes, teaching what the king says. As a matter of fact, I'm not even concerned whether you're the Methodist, Baptist, I mean, or all that. Right. Right. Are, you, uh, are you really teaching what the king that's wants right. us to teach? Amen. Amen. Oh, my God. What do, you say? what do you say, God? What do you say, uh, Psalm 145? Let me get that. I'm telling y'all turn that on. I'm not even there myself. Yeah. Psalm 145. 
uh, tells us about the king. Psalm 145, verse 13. I'm going to read this for you out of the message Bible. Talking about the kingdom of God. Yes, sir. It says, your kingdom is a kingdom eternal. We're talking about the king. Yeah. You never get voted out of office. Mm -hmm. God does what he says and is gracious in everything that he does. Right. King, king, Jesus is in office and ruling. He cannot be voted out. Right. He was there even before the earth was ever created. The kingdom of God was already set up. The king his territory and his citizens was already in place, my God. And, and we see in the, gov in the American governments that politicians, Republicans are what? Fighting against one another. Yeah. Democrats are fighting against one another. And we as the people of God are what? Are getting affected. But my God, the kingdom of God is advancing in such a great way. The people of God, the citizens of God are getting blessed in an abundant way. You know, folk talk about the gas prices and all these other prices, but you know, as long as I'm a citizen of the kingdom, I'm not even really concerned about that. Amen. If I want to pull up to the tank and fill my car up with gas, the king has already told me that he would provide everything that I should need. But the only thing that I had to do is what is to trust what the king said. Even sometime when I don't see and it's not coming to pass, I still got to trust what my king said. Because he said in his word, in and, and, and Philippians, I believe about the 19th verse, he says, but my God shall what supply all needs according to our riches and glory by Christ Jesus. We're still, we're still talking about an unshakable kingdom. Oh my God, my God. If we, if we, if we, if we, I got about 21 more minutes. I might not need all that time, but my time is looking good. If we operate, my God, under the rule of God's unshakable kingdom. My God, let me remind you again about this unshakable kingdom. That means that it's not able to be disputed or questioned. Unable to be, my God, change what the king says. Oh, my God. God is saying if we do this, my God, destinies will be discovered. If we would follow the mandate of the king, dreams will be attained. But it's up to us as the citizens of the kingdom of God to make the call. Are you going to follow the mandates of the king? Do you want the destinies to be discovered? Do you want dreams to be attained? You make the call. Many, many, many of our today's rulers are like Adam seeking to dethrone their own creator mm. while still recognizing his existence. Mm. But they want to dethrone their own creator by recognizing his existence. Right. It's a call. It's call religion. Woo. We do things ritually. Yeah. My God, we do things. If praise and worship goes uh -huh. a little longer than 15 minutes, uh -huh. you've never been in churches where the choir get in place. Uh -huh. What they're trying to do is remind the worship leader that your time is already up. But the last time I read uh -huh. Psalm 22, verse 3, yeah. it said that God inhabits the praises of the people. Yeah. Do you know that your deliverance can come right in the midst of your praise? Yeah. My God. Right. If you're going through yeah. something, Jesus. you can praise your way out of the situation. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. You can't put a time limit on what the king wants to do. Yeah. That's right. Amen. That's right. Oh, God. Follow, follow, follow. Call religion. Yeah. If pastor preaches a little longer than 20 minutes, uh -oh. <laughs> folks start pulling their sleeve back, watching the clock. And you know... I just was born in a Baptist church, and I'm not speaking against Baptists. But if the football game was on on Sunday, Prophet Rock, and the Redskins were playing the Cowboys at 1 o'clock, they get up with that little one finger. See you later. Their mind, their mind was not on the king. More concerned about the football game than to see what the king had to offer. Yes, sir. My God, my God, I'm a Redskins fan. I, I, I like to watch the Redskins. But I tell you what, the Redskins cannot do nothing for me than what the king can do for me. As a matter of fact, they sometimes disappoint me. But the king never will disappoint us. The only way, the only way for us to get back to the kingdom is we have to put the Lord back into the equation.
situation. If we want to experience dominion, God said authority, that we were created to have in this unshakable kingdom, we got to get back to the mandates of the king. We got to put the Lord back into the equation. Come on. We sometimes got to forget about the public arena. We got to forget about sometimes the things that's going on in the, on in the family and say, God, I just want to spend some time with the king. I don't know about you, but I look forward to this Saturday every month. My God, when the kingdom of God can come together, yeah. when the citizens of God can come together, where folk are not worrying about the clothes that you got on, my God, are not concerned about the automobile that you that you drive or the home that you live in, but my God, I come to see what the king has to say to the people of God. When we can get back, when we are not concerned about past family disputes, my God, when we get together as people of God, that we are not concerned about how much offering you have to give, oh, come on. but that you just come to see what the king is going to do for the people of God. Amen. We got to put the Lord back into the equation. Yes, Lord. We got to go against the grain of the way that the world does things. Yes. We got to go against the grain of the way that some church leaders do things. Yeah. But we got to start coming together as people of God. That's why we started out, I believe, a prophet, what, every other uh, other month. But my God, that was too long. Two months apart from one another, my God, was too long. But God, we started coming together once a month. And I look forward to this time where the citizens of God can come together to see what the king has got to say to the people of God. Amen. Amen. Yes. Exodus, the 19th chapter. 16 more minutes. Time still looking good. <laughs> the Word of God. Exodus, 19th chapter. And then we're going to get to the text real briefly. Exodus, 19th chapter. I'm just going to speak a few verses. I'm starting at about verse 3. I'm reading from the Message Bible. Moses went up to meet God. God called him down from the mountain. He says, speak to the house of Jacob. Tell the people of Israel, you have seen what I did in Egypt and how I carried on eagle's wings. Yeah. Okay. And God says, and brought you to me. If my God you will listen, yeah. obediently to what I say and keep my covenant, he says, out of all peoples you will be my special treasure. Yeah. The whole earth, he says, is mine to choose from. My right. God. Right. But you are a special kingdom of priests. Yeah. Yeah. A holy nation. Yeah. Yeah. This is what I want you to tell the people of Israel. Moses came back and called the elders, the leaders together of Israel, and set them before all these words which God had commanded him. The people were unanimous in their response. Everything that God said we will do. Moses took the people and answered back. God said to Moses, get ready. Get ready, my God. I'm about to come to you in a thick cloud so that the people can listen in and trust you completely. When I speak with you, and again Moses reported the people. Moving on quickly. God said to Moses, go to the people for the next two days, my God. For the next two days. He says, get them ready to meet God. God is saying, what I'm doing right now is I'm getting the people of God ready to meet God. That's what the Kingdom Summit is about. Getting people to be ready to meet God. But he says, tell them, scrub their clothes. On the third day, be fully prepared. Because the third day, God will come down, he says, out of Mount Sinai and make his presence known to the people. Post boundaries for the people, he says, around about them. Telling them, warning them, don't climb over the mountain. Don't touch the edge, he says. Whoever touches the mountain, he says, shall die a certain death. God has told me to tell you in this unshakable kingdom, my God, what I am doing, I am coming down from heaven to earth and speaking to the people of Almighty God. I'm speaking some words that the people never heard before. But it's me, but it's me, oh God, he says. I'm speaking directly to the people of God. Open up your 
deaf ears and hear what the Lord has to say unto the people. Yes. Yes. I said, God, in close.